Okay, right now I've opened up the software. I have the i1 Match 3 software up. And what I'm noticing is that the device is not found. Okay, so what that means is I haven't hooked up. I haven't hooked this up to my computer yet. So because it's not found, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I have a USB connector. Okay, now it's connected. Let's see if it recognizes it. And now that my system has recognized the device, the uh, it shows me that I can start to profile various devices including a monitor, a projector, a scanner, a printer, and a digital camera. But for this demonstration we're just going to do the monitor, okay? Okay, so now you're looking at my monitor, alright? Now, the purpose, this is not a de software demo really. Uh, the, my purpose here is just to explain the steps to you and the concept and then let you see for yourself as though you were looking over my shoulder just how simple this process is so that you can realize it's not a big deal okay so now notice this right now the, dis the uh, digital camera is showing here uh, but we're interested uh, in uh, the monitor so you see as you select these things it shows you over here the device that you're going to uh, profile Right here, there's an easy mode and an advanced mode, and I'm not going to go into all the differences, but I'm just going to do the easy mode. Over here on this side, there's some help, and explains to you what's happening at this time. So now I click the next arrow, and now it asks me to select the monitor type. There are three monitor types, LCD, CRT, and laptop. Well, right now we're doing an LCD, and that's what's selected, so we're okay with that. And so we just click next. And here it just shows us the different types. Okay, now it's telling me to calibrate the I1. So you see it shows you here uh, putting on the instrument on the, on the thing. So we'll do that. Okay, so you see here's the bottom part. Looks like that. Here's the I1. That head is going to go over this thing. So now we just put it like that set it down now we click calibrate it tells us that it's calibrating okay the calibration was successful so now we click next okay now it's telling us to put the I1 on the monitor and that's where I use that that weight uh, with the uh, hook over the uh, monitor so that uh, it'll stay in place so we take this little thing, and now we connect the I1 to it that way. See, it just connects that way. We drape the weight over it. Just kind of make sure that it's flat against there, and it is, and it has a light blocking it. And now we click next, and what it's doing right now is it's making those rectangles smaller and smaller and smaller until it deduces where that sensor head is and then in that area it's going to start to flash it a bunch of colors okay it's getting close alright now it knows where the uh, the uh, sensor head is so it's starting to flash all these colors and up here you can see the progress indicator But it, the profiling software is sending all of these colors through the computer to the monitor. The I1 is reading those colors and, and, and making an interpretation so that it can then plot an ICC profile that will be put associated with that monitor so that what the computer sends to it is what is actually displayed.
And I'm going to speed this up on the video so you don't have to wait so long. Okay, so now it's cycled through all those colors and done its thing and plotted a profile for this monitor, okay? Now, again, I'm not going to go into all these details. You have to study that and learn it or read the material or whatever. But right here is a file name. And th that file happens to be what's called the ICC profile that was just created for this monitor. By using that profile between the signals that the computer sends and the signals that the monitor receives and just kind of in the middle making an adjustment, there's a correction in place now so that my monitor displays exactly what I'm sending to it from my software and that's the whole idea so now it asks me down here how many how long from now I want this to remind me to check it again and it's set at four weeks and I'm gonna leave it there so four weeks from now this software will remind me to run another profile so I can keep my monitor profile uh, calibrated And there it is. Now it's asking me if I want to profile another device, which we're not going to do. And that's it. It's over. We just profiled the monitor.